If you have one watch, then these are the only watch straps you need. Today I'm going to talk about how you can make more watches out of the one watch you have by simply switching out the existing strap on the watch or the metal bracelet on the watch for a different strap a NATO strap, a rubber strap, a leather strap, whatever your preference is. And by that, you can create multiple looks for your watch and have it feel like you have more than one watch. Basically, you only need three different kinds of straps. You need an elegant one, you need a classic one for everyday usage, and an oddball, a playful one, something that you would wear, well, when you feel like switching it up a little bit. As an example, I'm going to take the Omega Speedmaster. I feel like the Speedmaster is a great entry-level watch or a watch that a lot of people out there might like or have even. And it's also a watch with a very sporty theme, with a lot of heritage, but also with a very interesting look. And there's also a big community behind the Speedmaster. So you will find a lot of pictures, a lot of inspiration if you're looking to switch up your strap game for this particular watch. The Speedmaster I have here is the 2021 model. So the current one they have in their lineup, the Speedmaster hasn't really much changed over the years. It has a lug width of 20 millimeters, therefore making it very easy for me to switch out watch straps. This is a strap that you would use for formal situations. Maybe you're having to wear a suit to your job. Therefore, you wanna wear your watch. Potentially, the metal bracelet or the leather strap that comes with the watch isn't that fitting. So therefore, you need something different, something that is a bit more formal, that dresses the watch up. I would go for a classic alligator strap, black one or a brown one, depending on your personal preference. You can also choose both. If you wanna mix it up a little, you can even go for a navy blue alligator strap. The alligator skin is one of the most elegant and one of the most prestigious leathers out there, actually. And it also helps to dress up, in that sense, the Speedmaster, because the Speedmaster is a very sporty watch, but with the alligator strap, it actually makes the watch look a bit more elegant, look a bit more dressy. If you're not, the alligator skin type of guy or girl, maybe you want to opt for a different material. I'd go for a classic calf leather strap, something basic, maybe even shiny. My choice here would be the Sienna watch strap. It's a very elegant strap. It has a nice taper from 20 to 16. It has a small little padding, but it also will elevate the look of the watch a little bit and therefore it will work with a suit as well. Next up, we're going to talk about the classic everyday kind of strap. Something like the Bologna. The slightly textured leather, either black, brown, or even taupe color. In my opinion, I'd go for the taupe color because I just feel like this is the chameleon under colors for watch straps. You can pair the taupe Bologna with any colored dial, being it black, silver, salmon, or even blue. And you can also pair it to any case material, yellow gold, rose gold, white gold, titanium, platinum, whatever you want, steel, it will work. And it will have this classic, more elegant, but very everyday kind of feel. And this is exactly what you want to opt for. You want to have a strap that you can put on your watch and you can wear on an everyday basis without having to think about it. You can wear it to any situation, being it formal or non-formal. You can take it, wear it to jeans, a t-shirt, wear it to a shirt and trousers, whatever you want, this will look good. If you're more of a sporty kind of person, probably you want to opt for a different kind of strap. If you feel that you're in situations that are more outdoorsy, try a hybrid strap. Like, for example, our James. This is a combination out of rubber and leather on top. It's very classic, but again, it will give the watch a very classic theme. It's very easy to wear. Whatever your preference is, you can pick out a brown one, you can pick out a black one. It will work in everyday situations. And again, you have the additional functionality of the rubber core. You have more water resistance, more durability for your 
lifestyle. Let's talk about the playful strap. For me at least, something colorful. It can be green, it can be yellow, it can be orange, it can be pink, whatever you want. I pick out a London or even an Osiris notebook, or something suede um, in different kinds of colors just to have a bit more of a playfulness. It can also be an outdoorsy strap, like for example, the soccer strap that we have right now. If you're into soccer, this again is a simple watch strap. It's a hybrid strap with a rubber core and a multicolored leather upper material. Kind of elevates the style of the watch a little bit, gives it a more playful edge. That's what I like about straps. You have this option of giving your watch a different look depending on what you want and how you feel. I switch my straps on a regular basis, every day, sometimes multiple times a day. You can do more with your watch than just wearing it the way it came out of the box. So therefore, the next time you pick up your watch, consider a different strap. Maybe Consider going to your watchmaker, to your local dealer and asking them if they can take off your metal bracelet or you have the right tools, then you can take it off yourself. Most of the watches nowadays come with a quick exchange system, therefore allowing you to switch your straps very easily. That's it for today. If you want to check out strap guides on watches, then here are two videos that you can watch. Please don't forget to subscribe and as always, if you feel like it, put a thumbs up. We will see each other in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.